Welcome everyone. Thanks for tuning into my channel, Eve the Empress Oracle. Today we're going to go ahead and do your timeless career and finance reading. So we're going to see what's in store for you at the time you decide to watch this video in regards to your finances and career. All right. Whatever the cards show us is what I'm going to read. I ask that you please come into this reading with an open mind as this is a general reading. Okay. Please take what resonates with you and leave what does not. And if you are interested in a personal reading or you want something more in depth, you can contact me. My email is in the description box below. All right. As always, I ask for your support. Please like, comment, subscribe if you have not already done so. And we're going to go ahead and go into it. We have pile number one, two, and three. Pick whichever pile jumps out at you. And then the timestamps are in the description box below as well. So you can jump to your message. For those of you who chose pile number one, this is your message here. We are going to begin with the secret language of color deck. This is going to tell us what color you should be working with at this time. Okay, so that if you decide to, you can wear it and surround yourself with it. All right, so we have Scarlet, the number seven. So seven may be prominent for you at this time. And Scarlet is used to attract success. Okay, now from the book here, it says Scarlet is a color of passion, success and vitality that is known for its power, strength and dynamism. It stands out and demands to be noticed, a color of victory. Scarlet allows you to confidently achieve your dreams. Realize your dreams with the power of Scarlet. All right, so, you know, wear this real deep, rich, red color Scarlet as far as clothes, you know, for females, maybe nail polish, lipstick, um, you know, maybe get some flowers of this color or you know, pictures, or if nothing else, just envision it in your mind. Just imagine this deep red scarlet color here surrounding you, and it will help you attract success. All right, now we have the psychic tarot here. Your first card is obstacles and challenges, the number five. Mental conflict, the number two. And victory and success, the number six. Okay, so starting out, you know, especially with things, everything that's going that has been going on in the world over the past few months, you know, may have been some obstacles and challenges. It's going to be different for everyone. All right, but since this is pertaining to career and finance, it may have been a little difficult for you to, you know, really um, keep a, your job afloat or really be able to get into your career or things just may have been stagnant may have seen seem like there's really no way for you to move forward it's like every time you turn around there's a block there's a challenge there's a hurdle you know but and then this may this had also caused some mental conflict you having to choose all right you having to make a decision like Okay, I can't do what I really want to do, but there's this opportunity or do I just be patient or it could just be any type of mental conflict. Like maybe you were stressed out or, you know, trying to make decisions because you're you're concerned about your finances. I believe everybody was concerned about their finances, you know, over these past few months and possibly still currently, you know, um, so you're, you're just because of all these obstacles and challenges is causing you this mental conflict of you don't know really which path to take or how to maneuver and how to get over them. OK, but it's telling you, you know, the scarlet color, you can attract the success. And then if you look to this kind this, you know, the little person in this corner of the head kind of looks like the scarlet color to me when I look at it now. You know, so it's telling you, you have the ability to succeed because right here in your future, you have victory and success, attract success, victory and success. You will succeed. You will succeed. 
okay you just need to make your decisions try not to let the stress get the best of you you know make the best possible choices that you can at this current moment with the given circumstances and the given opportunities and just try to make the best of it everything will work out remember these hard times are not permanent they are just temporary so do your best with what you have right now now to clarify these cards we have the robin wood tarot you have the ace of swords the king of pentacles and the eight of swords okay so this eight of swords here is basically this like this mental conflict you're not seeing a way out you're not really seeing a way around the current situation that you're in okay but once you get out of this mindset you're setting yourself free for the truth okay the ace of swords is cutting through it's the truth the truth coming a new beginning um some type of truth being revealed to you or you being true to yourself you following your truth okay and that can be those obstacles and challenges and that this mental conflict like I said previously, you're not sure which path to take, which way to go. All right. But if you really look at this card closely, there is a clear path right in front of her. So she may be bound and the swords may be surrounding her, but she has a way out. Okay. She has a way out. She just needs to take that leap of faith and move. Okay. And once you can clear out and get a different perspective on the current situations and what's going on around you, that's you tapping into this truth right here. That's the you tapping into your truth to start living your truth. And then you also have the King of Pentacles here. So that is you obtaining this victory and success. That is you obtaining this um, stable foundation, uh, material prosperity, you know, uh, financial stability, financial peace of mind. This is you being content, you being the king of pentacles. You have all the pentacles. You have what you need. You're a smart business person. You're ex excelling in your career and your job. All these things will be available to you once you just change your mindset. Once you make the choices that you need to make, don't live in this lack mindset. Don't let the current situations and the things around you affect your true dreams and you living your truth. Okay, because success is in your future. Success is there. Okay, and it's telling you attract that success here. Okay, now from the Wisdom Oracle, you have message in a bottle, the number 15. Okay, and then since we're, you know... The main reading is surrounding this scarlet color success. You know, all those little stars and decorations on the bottom, on the, on the bottle, are of that scarlet hue. They're that scarlet hue. They're that scar they are that scarlet color. So this can be the note of the information coming in. You know, this is communic this can be communication, the swords could be communication coming in could be the truth being revealed to you okay things being offered that message in the bottle can be the good news can be this offer this opportunity all right but you just need to open your eyes make your just your choices your decisions and be receptive to what the universe is willing to bring to you okay now to close this out we have another six so six may be prominent for you as well okay and with the number six here this is the uh, where is the box the money and law of attraction cards okay so this says i am the creator of my own life experience you are the creator of your own life experience and as the creator of your experience, it is important to understand that it is not by virtue of your action, not by virtue of your doing. It is not even by virtue of what you're saying that you are creating. You are creating by virtue of the thought that you are offering. 
So basically it's saying what you think about is what you're creating, okay? That mental conflict, not seeing a way out, that lack mindset. You cannot speak or offer action without thought vibration occurring at the same time. However, you are often offering a thought vibration without offering words or action. Children or babies learn to mimic the vibration of the adults who surround them long before they learn to mimic their words. Okay, so this is basically saying like, you know, the energy that you're putting out. All right, what you think about and what you focus on is what you are going to attract more of. That is the simple basic rule of law of attraction, the simple basic rule of how energy works and things like that. So if you continue to focus on lack and the negativity and the things that are not working out instead of being optimistic, hopeful and positive, then that's what you're going to attract more of. Unfortunately, you're going to continue to attract things that are not working out for you, but you can change that mindset. You can change the way that you think. Although you cannot change the things that are currently happening to you from outside forces, you can change the way that you respond to them. Okay, so the, the things can still happen. The obstacles can still be there. All right, you can still be a little com conflicted on which road to take, but think of it in a positive way. Okay, remind yourself, this is just temporary. This is just a test. This is just a stepping stone. Okay, this is just going to um, help me be stronger. You know, this is just going to help me appreciate once I get my goal, you know, be able to appreciate it more because of everything I had to endure to get there. Just try to think of things in the best possible way because everything will work out. So keep a positive mindset so you can magnetize more positivity into your life okay you have to be mindful of what you're thinking about once those negative thoughts start creeping in your head just you know take a few deep breaths to center yourself and then just daydream it's simple you know you don't have to see the physical you know things playing out just daydream think of what of how it will feel when you obtain that goal think of how it will feel when you get your dream job or get your dream pay or you know whatever it is pertaining to you so right now group number one you may be going through some things you may be dealing with a lot of negative thoughts a lot of mental conflict going on in there but there is some good news that will be coming in okay because victory and success is in your future all right you will be stable you will be good Okay, surround yourself with the scarlet color to attract that success. And until next time, many blessings. Welcome group number two. We're going to go ahead and do your reading. So we're starting with the secret language of color cards to tell you which color you should be surrounding yourself at this time. Okay, so you have Jade, this rich, dark green color. Take action, the number 32 which can then be um, simplified to the number five. So that may be important for you at this time. Jade, take action. Jade is a color of serenity, tranquility, love, and nurturing. It creates balance, harmony, and self-sufficiency, releasing negativity from your mind and stimulating ideas, making what is complex seem simpler and doable. Jade is a cleansing color. Allow Jade to help you take action and make your life easier. So at this time, you know, in Jade, this green color, this also is the color of money. You know, different hues of green, right? That's, you know, money. So at this time, you're going to want to surround yourself with this Jade color. You're going to want to surround yourself with these darker hues, these earthly hues of green. All right. If you have an opportunity to go take a walk and surround yourself with some nature, um, you know, go ahead and do so to ground yourself, to cleanse yourself. All right. Read a book or meditate out in some grass um, or get a plant, you know, put a plant in your home or something, you know, just so you can see it every day or buy yourself some flowers or, you know, you could wear the color. Um, you can paint your nails the color, you can wear gemstones, you can 
wear jewelry of this color you know and if nothing else just envision this color overflowing you okay now with the psychic tarot you have the number seven patience and planning passion ignited and the number five financial material changes okay so this is telling you that so far probably because of you know current events recent events everything that's been occurring over these past few months you've been put in a place where you need to be patient and since there's not much much action that you could have taken in the recent past this is causing you to plan this is helping you to get your things in order you know get everything straightened out so that once opportunity presents itself you can take that action you're ready to bounce back you're ready to go full speed ahead okay your passion is ignited you're ready you know you're f you're full of this fire this energy that you're ready to get things going and if you also look here What's funny is this jade color, you can see a little bit of green there, which is re represented kind of um, f around the heart chakra. All right, that's where the heart chakra is located, which is also a green color. All right, so this may be also telling you to, you know, pay attention to your heart chakra, make sure your heart chakra is not blocked, okay? And then you have financial material changes. This may, this may not be negative because you have four different paths here. So this can go any way, okay? And the way it's gonna go is the way that you make it go, all right? So if you take that action, once the opportunity presents itself and you're allowed to, after with all your thorough planning and research and you know being patient, everything is going to work out. Okay, we're gonna clarify this with the Robin Wood Tarot. So you have the Queen of Swords. You have the Ten of Swords. And you have the Seven of Pentacles. All right, so the Seven of Pentacles is, is similar to this patience and planning here. So that's, that, that is coming through twice here for you. And the number seven may be significant for you at this time. But with these cards, this is telling telling me that basically because you're unable to move, you feel like you've kind of hit rock bottom. OK, you can some of you may feel like you've hit rock bottom or like there is nothing else you can do. You're feeling way down. You're feeling like you can't move. You know, you're feeling like this is it. All right. You're frustrated. You you know you may have lost that lack of passion you may have lost motivation you may have even lost hope okay because things may not have been working out for you you know recently but with the queen of swords this is you cutting all all that negativity out okay you're cutting yourself free you're cutting through to see the truth all right you're cutting out all the things that don't serve you and once and then once you get this number 10 here, that's it. You can't go any lower. OK, this is a completion of a cycle. This is the end of a cycle. So once this comes, there's really nowhere else to go but up. All right. So once you've already hit the bottom or you feel like you've hit the bottom, there's no more down. You can go. The only place to go from down there is up. So that's a positive. The worst is behind you. OK, everything that has happened, it's in the past. Now you need to pick your pieces up. You need a plan. You need to be a little patient because things are not instant. All right. Work. Continue to work on your goal because that has come through twice here. All right. And then you will be able to take the action that you need to take to bring about to change your finance, your financial status, to change, you know, to what it is that you want. You will be able to flip it. You will be able to do a complete flip, but you just need to plan. You need to plan. You need to be logic about it. All right. Take the emotions out of it 
because there is no emotion card here. This is completely logical thinking and focused on the finances, the swords and the pentacles. That's what that represents. All right. This passion needs to get ignited again. All right. Don't let the things that have not worked out damper your passion, damper your light, damper your motivation. Just know that it's temporary. It's not going to last forever. The storm has passed and brighter days are ahead. So continue to plan, plan, be patient. And then soon as that door opens, soon as things are back to normal in your world, you can take that leap of faith. You can take that action. You'll be able to cut through everything to get you to where you need to be. Okay, this is just your planning time. All right, this is your time to sit back, observe, plan. Okay, so that once the opportunity presents itself, you can execute. Now we have the wisdom card here and you have no place like home. The number 50, which is another five. So you have five, like I said, this goes down to five and you have 50. So sevens and fives may be important to you at this time take it how it resonates for some of you okay no place like home home is where you're supposed to be right now at this current time and that's giving you that opportunity to plan to do what you need to do to gather your thoughts to heal all right to let go of the past so that you can start anew you need to be home maybe Maybe this is telling you now that it's time to put your time and energy, your passion. Maybe your passion is to work from home, to have a work at home business with all this, with everything that has recently unfolded over the pa over the past few months. Maybe this is really pushing you and things have happened the way that they happen to kind of push you so that you can tap so that you can start making your dreams happen. So that you can see really where your passion lies and maybe working from home is the best thing for, for you, you know, um, and if nothing else, if this is if it's not a at home business that you want, this is giving you that time to tell you, don't worry about what's going on in the outside world. Home is where you need to be right now because you need to focus on you. You need to focus on your you know, your family unit, you need to focus on home. Okay. Like they say, home is where the heart is. All right. Focus on home. What's going on in your home? Clean up your home. Not saying every, not saying homes are dirty, but you know, just making sure that your things are in order at home because all the chaos and stuff can be going on on the outside world, but you want your home to be your sanctuary. Okay. So you can have a bad day at, you know, a typical nine to five job, but do you want to continue having that go on once you walk through the door? No, you want things to be at peace. You want things to be serene. You're, you want your home and your family, the people that you come home to, for those of you that this applies, for everything to be good. You want, you know, to come home and to feel at peace, to feel at ease, to feel like you can just let go and let all the events of the day just fall off okay so no place like home you are meant to be home right now this is the opportunity for you to plan to obtain your dream so that once you can take action you got it you know bam 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 you taking the actions you need you're doing what you need to do you setting yourself free from this mindset from thinking things aren't working out Okay, you're reigniting that passion. Okay, you're cutting through everything that has recently unfolded that didn't work out for you so that you can obtain what it is that you want, this positive financial future. Okay, and then from the money and law of attraction card, we have the number 42, which comes down to six. And it says, my what is need not influence my what is becoming so this is similar to what i just said okay what is going on currently has nothing to do with what can be okay what is becoming okay what's coming in towards you okay the 
your surroundings can be chaotic things could not have worked out but that does not define your future okay it reads what is has no bearing on what is coming unless you are continually regurgitating the story of what is by thinking and speaking more of how you really want your life to be you allow what you are currently living to be the jumping off place for so much more but if you speak predominantly of what is then you still jump off but you jump off into more of the same okay so this is basically saying focus on what you're focusing on are you so consumed and focused on the things that haven't been working out you know on you know your current stagnant um predicament because of everything that's going on are you letting that affect how your outlook of your future is are you focusing on that are you dwelling on that or are you focusing on the potential focusing on okay yes i know as soon as all this stuff clears up you know i'm gonna be able to jump back into it i'm gonna be able to do what i need to do everything's gonna work out you know this is just temporary what are you focusing on what is your mindset what are you thinking about because that is what you're going to attract more of the more you continue to dwell on the stagnant on the challenges on the obstacles on having to be patient and you're ready to make moves then guess what you're just drawing in more time for you to be patient more time for you to not be able to do anything all right but if you know okay you know what i can't do anything right now but this is an opportunity for growth. This is an opportunity for me to plan. This is an opportunity for me to get my stuff and really take this time, this me time, to focus on what it is I want to do once, you know, I can make those moves or what will be the best moves. You know, revise your plan. Revise it as many times as you need to. Okay, rehearse it. Okay, go through it as many times as you need to and then once the opportunity presents itself once you're able to take that action you got this all right group number two so i hope this was the message you needed to hear everything will work out be positive okay and until next time many blessings for those of you who chose group number three pal three this is your message Okay, we're starting with the secret language of color cards. You have Violet, create a balanced life, the number 45, which comes down to a nine. Okay, so this is the color you should be surrounding yourself with. Violet, this hue of purple. And it says, Violet regenerates your nervous system and heals insomnia, mental disorder, physical illness, and injuries affecting the eyes and the brain. It is especially helpful with treating epilepsy, balancing energy, and reprogramming cells. Violet also activates intuition, opens creativity, and increases the psychic senses to release karma and regain freedom from past issues. Create balance and receive blessings from the Violet gift box. Okay, this, this is the color that is most important to you at this time of this reading when you're watching this. Okay, so surround yourself with it. Wear, you know, this hue of, of clothing. Um, for those of you, you can paint your nails. You could wear, you know, eyeshadow or um, gemstone jewelry. Buy yourself some flowers, you know, some violets. Or just surround you or just envision this color in your mind overflowing you okay you need to balance this is telling you that something needs to be cleared out okay and you need to get balance in your life all right now from the psychic tarot here you have the number 12 sacrifice you have the number three recognition and reward and the number two intuition which is very good because violet like i said violet represents the third eye chakra okay and you know that taps right into your intuition okay so sacrifice there may be something that you need to let go of like you know the reading has said 
is you know to clear out certain things there may be something you need to let go of or maybe you feel like you've been in this mentality or you've been forced to sacrifice things but whatever the case is the sacrifice is ultimately going to lead you to gain recognition and reward okay your hard work your sacrifice is going to pay off it is going to be recognized you will receive praise for it you will receive blessings for it whether that was your intention of doing so or not okay letting go of this sacrificing something may help create a balance okay and you need to follow and listen to your intuition really tap into yourself which is probably another reason why you have violet as your color this time Okay, surround yourself with that. Really trust your intuition. Trust those thoughts, that little voice in your head. That is what it is. Okay, we're going to clarify these cards with the Robin Wood Tarot. You have the number seven, the seven of swords here. You have the five of pentacles. And you have the ten of wands. So what I'm getting from this is you've had a very difficult time over, you know, I don't know if it's past few days, weeks, months, but you guys have been having a difficult time. Okay. There may have been some, because of the seven of swords and the five of pentacles, someone may have stolen from you. Or someone may have been keeping things from you, not being honest with you at, regarding finances, regarding money. Okay, someone may have been taking advantage of you, you know, kind of manipulating you to get what they want. And this has caused you to carry so much of a burden where you feel like you're carrying such a heavy load because you wanted to help this person out or you know because if this if this situation how it applies to you if this was a case where someone has taken something from you or kept something from you you know or stolen something from you this has left you with a huge burden but if this is someone taking advantage of you it's the same thing because now you're having to carry their load as well and that may be the sacrifice that may be what you need to let go of this person, this situation, this may be what you need to release, what you need to clear out. Okay. But regardless of the wrong that has been done to you, blessings are coming in. This recognition and reward is going to come in. Okay. So follow your intuition. If you believe that someone is not telling you the truth, then you're probably right. If you, if someone has stolen something from you and you have your suspicions about who it was, you know, trust that. Okay. And handle it accordingly. All right. You may have been, people may have taken from you. And then when it was their turn to repay you or help you out in your financial crisis or however this applies, maybe they turned their back on you. You know, they weren't as dependable you weren't able to rely and depend on them as they were once able to rely and depend on you. You know, everybody's coming to you wanting your help, but when you felt you needed it, it was not there. Okay. And maybe this is the sacrifice that needs to be done. You need to let go of that. You need to create this balance. You can no longer carry everyone's burdens. You can no longer carry this heavy load. You need to balance it out. Okay, you need to create balance. You cannot continue to give, 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 give and not get anything in return. Of course, that is not the reason why we give. That's not the reason why we help, you know, is because we want something in return. But you need to make sure that this is balanced. Okay, the people that you help need to help you as well if and when that is needed. Okay, and if you see that this is a habit if this is a pattern of someone that they're just taking and draining you then you really need to let them go and it may be difficult but everything will pay off it will be beneficial to you in the future now th from the wisdom oracle here you have a change in the wind number 12 
So twos may be very important to you at this time and threes as well because you have 12, 12 and two. So you have two, two, two. And then 12, when you add the one and two is three. So then you have three, three and three. So twos and threes may be important to you at this time. Okay, so you can Google the angel numbers 222 and 333 and see if there's a special message there for you as well, because we have it repeated three times. Okay, but this change in the wind, this is what I'm telling you. All right, things may not have worked out in the past. Someone may have betrayed you. Someone may have manipulated you, taken advantage of you, used you, you know, and that it sucks. It sucks. It, it's hurtful. You know, you you probably mo more than likely did not deserve that. But you know what? There's a change in the wind. Things are changing. You need you're going to get balance here and everything is going to start working out in your favor. Trust your intuition because blessings are coming for you. Recognition and reward is in your future. It's coming in towards you. Just let this person go. If they're not willing to put in the same time and effort that you have or willing to, you know, pay you back if if it money was involved or trust is gone, you know, just just let it go. That's the sacrifice. You need to just let it go. Cut the losses and let it go so that you can move forward and so that it will no longer hinder your blessings. Okay? You've carried the burden for long enough and now it's time for you to focus on you. You can no you cannot give what you are not receiving at the same time. Okay, imagine a cup of water. If you keep giving everybody a sip, you know, then when you're thirsty, the cup is dry, right? Or you're giving everybody a sip and now when your cup is empty, are they giving you a sip of theirs? You know, do they have something to offer you? Are they refilling that glass for you to keep it balanced? as you know you help them you know use whatever metaphor you need but the point is some things need to be let go so that you can reap your blessings okay you need to create a balanced life because you are letting people take advantage of you you are letting people manipulate you or someone has manipulated you all right, and maybe just because you're a caring person or you were trying to see the best in somebody or, you know, they seem to change temporarily and then go back to the same thing, you really need to just let it go. Let it go because that's the only thing that's hindering your blessings from coming in because they're there. But you need to change that wind. Okay, you need to change the direction of the wind. Now from the money and law of attraction card, we have 53, which comes down to eight. And it says appreciation and love are identical vibrations. Appreciation and love are identical vibrations. Appreciation is the vibration of alignment with who you are. Appreciation is the absence of everything that feels bad and the presence of everything that feels good. When you focus upon what you want, when you tell the story of how you want your life to be, you will come closer and closer to the vicinity of appreciation. And when you reach it, it will pull you toward all things that you consider to be good in a very powerful way. All right, so maybe that's what you're not receiving. You're not receiving appreciation. You're not receiving love. You know, you're so willing to help everybody with their burdens, carry their load, you know, willing to help them financially. And nobody's appreciating you. You know, no one's showing you that same love. But you know what? You need to focus on that. You need to find appreciation in yourself. Be appreciative that this person showed their true colors. You know why? Because now you know that you no longer have to associate with them. You no longer have to continue to keep investing time and energy when they're not willing to put in the same. All right. It, it may suck. It may hurt. But you know what? Appreciate that this stuff has finally come to light so that you can move forward, so that you can do what you need to do, so you can focus on yourself instead of being so consumed about what they got going on. All right, it sucks, but like I said, 
appreciate is telling you appreciation you need to create this balanced life change all right change the direction the way things have been going you have the ability to do that all right and then don't forget that once you get what it is that you want don't let these people slither their way back into you all right don't let them you know slither their way back you can forgive all right and you know if this is a family member or you know someone very close to you you may not you know have the ability or have the heart to cut them completely off but you know to keep them at a distance you know now you know what your limits should be okay now you know to set those boundaries all right group number three so i hope this was the message you needed to hear all right create that balance listen to your intuition all right let some of this negative stuff go you do not have to carry everyone's burden or load all right it's okay to help people if it's people that you know will be there to help you when the time comes all right don't let people be selfish don't let people take advantage of you all right and until next time many blessings